Welcome, welcome. Hi. It's our vlog again. Yeah. We're on a we're on a good streak. Two in two weeks. <laughs> Don't get used to this. <laughs> Maybe one day we live in hope. But today is a super special day. It's the one of the most exciting days of the whole blooming year today, isn't it? Yeah. It's a virtual open <gasps> weekend. Yes. So we are here with you virtually. We are. We are. We absolutely are. Through it's the magic of YouTube. Exciting. The magic of YouTube, the magic of Zoom, the magic of Instagram, the magic of you everything know, on the internet. The interwebs in general. It's a very magical thing. So, <laughs> we hope you can join us today. We're very excited that everyone all around the world can come and participate because we know you can't all get down here to Devon. Yeah. It's a very long way. It is a long way. And sometimes it's nice to just sit in your house and chill on the couch, eat a bit of ice cream, you know, watch some stuff on the internet. It's great. So we've got an action packed kind of lineup and there's a really nice mix this year of like, we've got a couple interviews and then you and Laura are doing a mill tour, which I never got to go on a mill tour at the in-person one because I was too busy. So oh. I'm going to enjoy watching that and then got a couple of like little class demo type mm. ones it's um, all go It'll all our great. sessions are just a nice one hour zoom so nothing too in-depth or taxing and yeah. they're all free yes uh you just need to sign up through the eventbrite to get your tickets so you can get in yeah the link is at the bottom yeah, the link is at the bottom of this so go and have a little look and also um we do recognize that obviously there's time zone stuff going on for folks as well so all of them will go up on our youtube channel to watch later so even if you're like oh i'd love to join in but i can't quite manage that then it'll be up on the youtube within time so don't be distressed um, but we do also love to see you in person and then you can ask the questions which yeah. is nice so uh, in this vlog we also have a few more bits from the actual open weekend yeah a couple more chats with people and a few more things to yeah. show off yeah um and a couple specials like this gorgeous ammonite that we yeah. didn't manage to mention last time because it yeah. was just too many specials yeah. so. so a few more of the specials and things just a little bit of a roundup mm. um yeah so a few things great. to to start your day yeah Definitely. And then the other important bit of information is all of these limited edition specials and goodies from the down the allotment to all the beautiful hand dyed to um, Katie's amazing stickers and bag. All of those goodies are coming. They'll all hit the website at kind of lunchtime, midday, um, 12.30 um, today, if you're watching this on the day of publication. So, um, so there's something you had your eye on. It's time it's to go there. have a look. If you want to have a look, have a look. If you don't want to have a look and you just want to go to the fun stuff, by all means do that. Okay. <laughs> Some of the classes might make you decide you do want something. Exactly. Bex has got a very good one oh. on spinning and she uses some of the down the allotment tops. Yeah. And I think that quite a few of us are going, oh, we'll know something fun to do with that and we'll have to take some home. I so know. I know. you'll have to fight us for it. You, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Definitely. It's going to be a treat. So, um, well, we won't waffle too long because we've got a whole weekend of waffleage coming up. But um, thanks so much for joining us. It really does mean the world to us that all of you out there all around the world support our funny little mill. <laughs> Let us play with colour all day long. That's really where it all started. So, yeah. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's get stuck in and we're looking forward to spending the weekend together. Well, I just wanted to introduce you to Katie of Katie Green Bean, if you don't know her already. I'm sure you do. Hello. Hi, Katie. Hi, Lauren. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. It's been <laughs> so lovely. Such a lovely event. Well, Katie's been here all weekend. Um, she's been one of the vendors um, here, and we were so thrilled. 
Um, and not only are you here with all your amazing stuff, but she's also done some special collaboration things with us this year. So she's going to show off some lovely stickers. And it's all to do with things that we have at the mill. So obviously we've got the little sheep in dungas, we've got some skeins, we've got ear defenders going on. It's all really cute. Which so is your favourite sheep, Lauren? I, I always love this little dude. I think he's my favourite. I don't know why he's a he, but... Um... I, f I feel like I... Yeah, I feel like he is. And have you figured out which breeds are which? That's the other question. Well, we've had a little try at the mill. <laughs> and obviously a few are a bit more yeah, some easy are, than yes. others, aren't they? Yeah. And, like, I'll show you on this bag as well that Katie's done for the show. But you can see we've got the Jacob and the Merino sheep on these ones. Yeah. And um, so those ones I knew first straight away <laughs> yeah. because they are sort of representing our special yarn that we made That's for right. the show. I was asked to do Jacob a merino for this one because they are making the down the allotment special yarn yep that's our, that's the yarn so it's all kind of like nice miles but yeah jacob and merino um so those ones i knew those ones you knew and then we've got which other ones did i know is it is that one as warp balls that's as warp balls which is another noticeable one yeah it's the white fluffy yeah. ones i'm a bit less yeah, sure they're of. All a bit um it's a bit tricky so i made this one the merino super yep. super fluffy um, and then we got, I think well, this is a Devon Close Wool. Nice. Uh, there's a Corriedale. This one's a Romney. Lovely. And Exmoor Blueface and Blueface Leicester. So it's all different sheep that we have in, in our yarn. yarns and yes. fibre, isn't it? So yeah. that's a lovely touch that I don't think <laughs> many people could have come across, made it come across so well. Well, that was the brief. Sheep in dungarees. Yeah. Working in the mill. Do you often get a brief such as that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing quite as specific, but I love that. When I am asked to do illustrations, sometimes people don't know what they want and to be told exactly, can you do sheep dressed up as mill folk in their dungarees and their ear defenders? I was like, yes, of course I can. <laughs> what a great idea. Put it on a bag, put it on the sticker, yeah. all good. So, so good. Um, these will be, um, these will actually be up on our website on our um, virtual yes. open weekend as well, if you couldn't make it down um, here in person this weekend. But ha how's it been though? Have you, have you enjoyed it's it? It's been lovely. It's such a nice event. People are so friendly. It's very relaxed. The food has been really good. It has been really good, hasn't it, this yeah. year? Yeah. yeah, it's really nice. And it's nice to come back to Devon. Uh, yeah. I think a lot of people know I recently moved away from Devon to Wales. So it's nice to have an excuse to come back and yeah. see all these lovely people. Well, I'm sure we'll probably see you again soon. I hope so. And you'll be doing a little yes. hello on the virtual session, I'll won't you, in, a, in next yeah. month? So, yeah. 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 And uh, hopefully my partner in crime, Jack, will come and join us for that as well. My little doggy. Oh, so, perfect. Yeah, he well. likes to be on camera. We'll look forward to seeing him then, and thanks again for coming, Katie, oh, thanks, and for chatting Lauren. with us. <laughs> thanks. done one of the most exciting bits of organising for the open weekends. It is pretty exciting. We've been working with a few hand dyers who yeah. have been doing some things especially for the open weekend, which is really nice. Definitely. Because a lot of hand dyers do use our bases to dye on and create some lovely things. Um, yeah. And so we thought we'd show it off really exactly. and bring a, bring a bit to the open weekend. And um, yeah, we've, we've had some lovely stuff come into the mill and a few of our staff have already, be even before things kicked off, just, you know, taking the odd skein here and there for, for their yeah. own stash. So The hand dyed is one of the hardest things to resist, I think, because usually what happens is we obviously spin that white, undyed, and then we'll send it off to them. Yeah. And it's very rare that they send it back to us. I know. <laughs> so it's it been a really nice opportunity to see it come back in. And uh, we've got a little display area here where we're showing it off to everybody. Yeah. And um, people have really been loving it. It's been really yeah. nice. It's a beautiful variety that you've kind of curated as well. So there's like, I think there's some really bright ones. Yeah. And then there's some more like sophisticated fun pastels. Yeah. And we've had and a range. natural dyes. Exactly. It's like you've done a really good job of balancing it beautifully. Oh. It's also nice to have a few um, dyers who are based further afield. It might be a bit tricky for 
people to get hold of their stuff sometimes. So we've got um, Elka from Bohe Yarn. She's, um, she's, where is she based? She's Germany, Germany isn't she? And then we've got um, Ovis Etc, who will be doing a little bit of a, a chat with us at the virtual open yes. weekend as well. Yeah. That's Saskia. And um, she sent over some lovely stuff, which we actually blended for her, uh, like as a custom blend. Yeah. Um, and it's her special sock yarn that exactly. she sent back to us. So it's a really nice durable no nylon sock yarn. And she'll be talking to us at the open weekend just about like trying to be sustainable yeah. and trying to kind yeah. of how yeah, she does that as a hand a dyer business. exactly and hopefully have showing us a little hand dye yeah demo. exactly and then yeah we've got some like sort of naturally dyed yarn like um nelly and eve's yarn here which you can see some beautiful that's pastels so you. it that's... goes perfectly with your nails that one i, I am a, yeah I, that is very partial for that one and then we've got yeah. some um, beautiful skeins from um, Kerry from Ginger Pink Yarns as well, and she sent over some um, some skeins on the new uh, Knit by Numbers and yes. the new Harvest Choose base, yeah. which will be sort of coming out um, with us a bit later in the year. So that's Definitely. really exciting to see it all yeah. knit up. Um, sorry, it all uh, dyed up. But it's lovely because we haven't done much really with the new Knit by Numbers base, no. so it's quite a treat for us, especially to see yeah. it. This is the first time we've seen some colour on it. It is, yeah. We've only so. seen it in its like bare, <laughs> bare, uh, bare skein so far. Definitely. But yeah, and you may recognise a few things. Like we've worked with Alice um, from Wool Matters like quite um, a yeah. few times, and yeah. we've Those got like the last lost. few skeins lost of her special skeins. collab she did with us, and um, yeah, that's yeah. been very popular. And then Lola's has been quite thoroughly picked over as well, and I'm not surprised. I mean, yeah. look at those two together. I know. It's it is gorgeous. That's all on the Exmoor sock, but yeah. our colours, they're just such fun. They are. They? And that's Lola from Third Vault, if you yeah. don't know her already. And then we've got, how could you not see this sort of beautiful, bright sock yarn from Felt Fusion as well, yeah. which is gorgeous. You had some last year, I didn't you? I had this last year. <laughs> and Definitely. you've made some great socks with that. They're crazy. They are nice though, especially with your bright sandals that you're wearing at the moment that the camera probably can't see, but they are lovely. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. And, and then um, something that I think I might be picking a little bit up of later is um, Nervous Fibre, that's Charlotte. And um, she's got some gorgeous colours as well on the Devonia DK base that we have. Mm. So yeah, I, uh, I do love this sort of like it's rusty pink really colour, it's gorgeous. Game, so think. yeah, maybe taking a bit of that home later and also we right on the floor here is a, a bit of fiber that we've had sent back as well which is really nice Ooh. and we don't see that very often nice. really do we um but yeah helen from nelly and eve has um, dyed some fiber for us as well which Just has been really gorgeous. cool in it's her like, like beautiful cream. signature base yeah it does look like ice cream actually doesn't it <laughs> so yeah it's been really nice um to kind of come and see things and that we don't normally see yeah. here at the mill it's, right. it's gorgeous Definitely. yeah and it will all be up on the website for the virtual open weekend. Yeah. So you don't won't miss worry, out. you won't miss out. Yeah. I'm sure <laughs> Anything there'll be that some. we let you have, we might take more of it home with us first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We'll try and resist a bit though. More. Well, thank you so much, Lauren. Because no, it thank really, you. I find it one of the most tempting sections. It's, of it's the really show. fun to, to get it all organised. So yeah, I've really enjoyed it. Oh, grand. been knitting a cowl haven't you yes I have that's one of the exciting things when we've got a special it means it's special for us as well so we always get a bit overexcited and make all the stuff don't we yes I actually started making a Doctor Who scarf out of all the different test ones we made and then when I could actually just make a shorter version of this as a real pattern yes so that is why we have yeah. a Doctor Who effect cowl it's so lovely though and it's nice actually getting to see all of them yes this uses every single one of the little tiny mini skeins uh, of our down the allotment dk yeah 
So yes, this is called the vegetable patch cow. So it's all your different vegetable Very patches. <laughs> exactly. And what have you, you've just knitted like a big tube, yes, haven't you? Yes, very much. It is a tube, it's double thickness, so it is very cosy. I often wear this style of one in the mill in the winter mm. because it doesn't get in any machines, but it's also you know, nice and warm. So again, yeah. great for if you're in the garden, you're not going to drop the ends of your scarf into the dirt, but you are going to stay nice and cosy. Definitely. Definitely. And a customer, someone came up to me yesterday and was like, can you see where the join is? And I, you've done it so neatly because I then picked it up and was like, oh my God, I can't see it at all. So I have no idea which one you did first because you are a very neat, amazing. You've Blocking just got, works magic. You've got such neat Kitchener. Honestly, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Could be any of them. But yes. So. So yes, it's just a tube and then you graft together at the end. Um, very simple, don't even have to weave all your ends in properly because they're just on the inside. Yeah. It's a very lazy one. This I mean, one. who wouldn't want that? <laughs> and then we've got this amazing little minis bundle. Which we did, yeah, they're 10 gram minis uh, because the biggest gains of this are 50s. So mm. yeah. uh, you can do lots of fun, different striping and all sorts. You're yeah. also knitting a striped jumper in it. I so am. Love I, the stripes in the mall. I am knitting a striped jumper. I've got half of the colours and it, I had this idea that it would be done for the open weekend. It is not done for the open weekend, but it might be done for the virtual open weekend. I'm hoping I might be able to wear it there, but it's these five. So like the five kind of purple and green shades. But I'm determined to have it done for the virtual open weekend. So you'll have to come to that to see if I finish the jumper or not. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> So if you watched the last vlog on our in-person open weekend, you might remember that Donna and I had a little knit off going to see who could finish um, making their project for the in-person open weekend. And Donna well and truly thrashed me. She made this beautiful slinky summer top with um, one of our Silk Blend limited editions. By, um, it was a lovely top by Meju. And I lost, but in my defense, uh, what I was knitting had sleeves. So maybe that's defence, maybe not, <laughs> but um, happily I've managed to finish it for the virtual open weekend and the weather's actually cooled a little bit. So I actually wore it yesterday. It completely chucked it down and I wore it. I was very pleased. So here it is. I hope you like it. I'm super chuffed with it. The pattern is called Streamers by James and Watts and it was in a pom-pom um, from a couple of years ago. Um, so I'm super, super chuffed with it. The way you knit it is you start at the side and it goes sideways. So that's why the stripes go vertically. And then you do the same on the sleeves. So I've chosen all of my favorite muted tones of down the allotment yarn. Here they all are. Um, I think it's fab. I think you could quite easily do the same thing with a couple different color combos, but um, we'll give you a little close up as well of that fabric so you can see all the colours together. But yeah, I'm chuffed to bits. It's my new thing. A thing in the special. I have, I have made you? a thing. I have ha made toast and jam knits. It's a pattern that we've had at John Arnold and Textiles for quite a while. Um, Emily, Emily Foden, mm -hmm. created the pattern for us, but it's knitted up beautifully in our down at the allotments yarn. Yeah. 
one of each of the beautiful, well, two of the beautiful colours that we've got. It's a very lovely pattern, very yeah, warm. Yeah, it's a nice pattern. It's Are really you putting nice. it on or is it too hot to put it I on? I can put them on. Whether they'll come off again is a... <laughs> <laughs> it is quite warm here. It's very warm in here. <laughs> but they are very intrepid service you're doing for the nice people at home go. here, Donna. Ooh. They're yeah, gorgeous. They are though. really nice. I think that, that one's my favourite colour. Is it? That's a very me colour. Yeah. I do love that. It's yeah. just nice and like goes with everything. It does, doesn't but it? But then actually, I quite like that one as well. I part. like that one with your dress. Yeah, I do. Nice I quite navy. like them all. Yeah, yeah they're very, very trouble. nice. <laughs> yeah, that's why we made them 50 grams because yes, then it's like perfect, they don't they? Just, yeah. yeah, they're really good. Can I take them off now? Of course. They are. Thank you very much for indulging me and the people. That no, are. that's fine. That's fine. So we're, yeah, we're having a fab time, aren't we? Yeah, it's so nice. It's really, really good. It only happens once a year and yeah it's just lovely isn't it, it? Is. it's amazing having people come visit us rather than like rushing all around the country going it to is shows. very nice actually yeah. and everyone so enjoys it and they love the mill tours mm. it's so and then they love coming back to buy the yard because yeah. they've seen how it's made and yeah. yeah it's just really really good I yeah think, we love it and it's nice it being a bit more chilled like some of the shows we go to it can feel really hectic yes and it's yeah. quite stressful for us because we have to like do a lot of setup and there aren't all of us no that's it yeah whereas, whereas it's been all of us this yeah, time hasn't exactly. it exactly share so. the load yes it's been very good <laughs> yeah but no, for so sure. we hope to see lots of people at the virtual as well yeah. don't we it's and coming next year as well when we do it again come hope everyone visit come us. along again yeah. yeah please come and see us make a little trip we've had a few folks from the u.s this I know. time it's haven't really we good amazing. yeah we'd love more more visitors from the from america come and see it's us it's a beautiful area around here it too, is isn't it, yeah Donna? a lot of people do sort of pop the weekend into mm. a longer trip so yeah it works really well yeah that's come the see way the, to do come it. and see the moors yeah. come and see the beach yeah. come and see our yarn yeah so, yes Meet all the machines. Do. The machines and us as well. And us. We love to see you all. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Well, but that is the thing about the virtual or about the proper open weekend. It's like actually seeing people in it, real life. Yeah. And sometimes yeah. it's folks you've been like emailing for like years and it's like oh gosh it's you it's you yeah, really it's here yeah. <laughs> we exist I know. Yeah. I know. we're real people yeah. people introduce themselves and then you're like that name sounds familiar and then they're like and yada 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 and then you're like oh my gosh yes yes it's you, I've known you yeah. For ages. yeah it's nice <laughs> it's yeah. a real treat but well, you probably see people on the zoom chat mm. as well don't you yeah. and hopefully some of those come along Definitely. as well but That's you good. must know lots of folks from like because you yeah. are always talking to people. I do. I'm There's sure been a lots few of people, people watching will yeah. email you. So. so yeah, I've seen a few people this weekend yeah. that I've been chatting to. Yeah. 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 Nice. Good. So yeah, we've had a lovely time, haven't we? Yeah. Very very Can't nice. Complain. Thank you. Thank you for everybody coming. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. you got there hells i've got some of daughter of a shepherd's special launching today new limited edition yarn Ooh. this one is called ammonite uh so it's nice it's got kind of like the colors like mm. if you go if you're down on lime regis and breaking up all your rocks they can yeah. do that this color definitely but it's um this is a 50 percent exmoor blue face 50 percent hebridean and it's done as a really, really subtle mile, so you can mm. see like the specks, but it comes up really beautifully heathered. It um, does. And then I've got the more intense version. Yep, this one is Hebra Zebra, which is a repeat of one we made five years ago? A very long time ago. The mists of time. Very much in the mists of time. <laughs> uh, Hebra Zebra, which is what we uh, call Rachel's yarn when we yeah. make it in the mill, because yeah. it's half a Hebridean and half a not a zebra but an exmoor blue face <laughs> it was one of john's jokes from yeah. way back when that we've always Definitely. kept so we made it into a yarn and then we've repeated it on special request and they're both absolutely gorgeous together as well i think they're both really i mean this one's very sophisticated it's really tasteful yes it's beautiful it is like an ammonite you know it really is 
And Rachel's got some lovely knitted swatches in her photos and things, so you can see how see. it knits up, and for this one. Yeah. Um, and this one is also 50% Hebridean, 50% Exmoor Blue Face. Yeah. So. so it just shows you what colour blending does, doesn't yeah. it? All the fun things you can make on the machines. Definitely. And then we've got, as a little fun extra, because it's the open weekend, we wanted yes. to make it all a bit special. So there's a tiny badge, a little a tiny enamel badge of the original Hebrid Zebra Sharpie drawing that was drawn on one of the boxes yeah. many, many years ago. Yeah. So I remember it was the first box of yarn I packed up for Rachel really? when I started and John Aww. drew that on there. Was it? Yeah. See, this is a historical item. That's why we've memorialised it. It's also in, a very fun uh, drawing. It's only got three legs. It does. The Hebra and the Zebra. And a three-legged <laughs> three beast. Clearly. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, it's great that uh, the Hebra Zebra is still, still managing to get about in the world, even though there's only three legs going on. It's a very robust tail, though, so, yes. you know? Mm. Only three legs, but a robust tail. Mm. And both these yarns are a four ply. Yes, they're so. both four ply and they'll be going up on the website along with all the other goodies. Um, we just didn't have a chance to tell you about them in the last vlog. And yeah, everyone who buys one will get a free little badge. So if you fancy a skein of Hebra Zebra, you get a free badge. Or a skein of our night. And if you just fancy the badge, we can do that as well. Because uh, the badge is a little bit of strange mill history <laughs> so if you're a badge collector i know i am every single badge we do i now just have them all kind of lined up on in a bit of my bedroom because i they're all on my sad. notice board in the yeah. office exactly <laughs> So now I'm here with Alex and you are not only an amazing designer yeah. but you're also a teacher and you also supply all of these incredible kind of notions and bits and bobs and all of it is like themed around your heritage yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah. Do you want to tell me it's Estonian? How many times have you been to Estonia? What is it about Estonian knitting? Okay. Yeah. Like, we can... Does it for you? Um, so I have been to Estonia, I don't know how many times. So my mom's side of the family is Estonian. Um, all of family still are there, apart from my uncle, who's in Canada. And they're all super creative. So jewelry designers, so it runs interior in designers. Yeah, that whole side of the family are ultra creative. And yeah, though I'm oddly enough the only knitter. They all know how to knit, but I'm the only one who seriously knits. My mom knits. My grandmother was a big knitter. She did lace shawls. Ooh, I lovely. have not quite gotten that serious into lace yeah. yet, but I'm um, so I dabble in kind of the traditional techniques, but with mm. modern hats, they're yeah. a lot easier than they look. So, and you've yeah. got such an eye for colour. I think I can always tell if it's one of your designs. <laughs> I mean, partially because you use these beautiful Estonian techniques, but also because it's just like they're just so fun. All your colour combos. You gotta have fun with the colour. <laughs> exactly. That's the whole point of knitting, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Otherwise, it's boring. <laughs> it's boring. Otherwise, yeah. No, I like playing with colour. And I like when they're mini skates. I'm the annoying person who loves a mini skate. I love a mini, I mini skate. Because when you can throw as much color in. But it's always only two colors at a time, maybe three. But only three if we're doing like the inlay technique. So that is what I'm teaching this and weekend. That is, yeah. yeah. So that's a brand new sock that has not been put out yet, but what I'm working on at the moment. Yeah. Um, and this is ridiculously easy because you're only knitting with one color amazing and you do all of it while you're knitting it's um, beautiful so yeah. they're like floats but on the outside yes so instead of hiding your floats you're flaunting your floats flaunt your floats flaunt your floats um 
Yeah, it's super easy. It's like cheat and tarsha. Okay. It's like cheat and tarsha. So very, very easy to do. Perfect. Good for those mini skates and leftovers. Yeah, bits. great um, for little bits and bobs. Yeah. It's one of the most eye-catching of the techniques that I use. Yeah, well, we've had a lot of, like, I think I... Um, Basically, what Lauren and I did was we just booked all of the classes and workshops that we personally would like to go to, and yeah. this one was very high on our list. So yeah, it is. It's yeah, gorgeous. Royal Seamina is the most popular, I would say, and it is super easy, but perfect. It's yeah. still nice to be shown how, though. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I mean, I have video tutorials for everything, but it's nice being in person so. to have another and knit. Exactly. And then you've also got a little pop up. So, yes. what else have you? Look so, at these I know, beauties. Super cute. New mittens. So, those are in Yarnadelic minis. Because, you know, two good colours not to show. Together. So, those are from a mitten book that I did, which is a colouring book meets knitting pattern book. Colour and knit mittens. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's got 12 patterns you can color in your charts Amazing. so you can mix and match pull in your patterns and Amazing. I mean if you're crazy like me you will pop other things in so a bit of corrugated ribbing or some braids because so yeah we've got those some notions so mitten blockers bags pins a little array of a bit of everything but all kind of speaks the same fun pattern yeah. language and all the things that like if you knit the mittens then you need the mitten blockers, blockers you know so all the like tools that you need yeah. um yeah because a lot of the techniques i use to be fair the traditional stuff uses like ridiculously tiny needles two millimeter and smaller yeah, yeah. No, i no, don't you. do that small but um they didn't really make tools that help make it easy. I was like, I'm just going to do this because I think everyone should have I it. I need one myself. So it's really easy. Need yeah, one. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Wonderful. Oh, well, what a treat to have you. Thanks I'm so for happy coming. to be here. It's so fun. And, um, yeah, yeah, it's a delight. And I hope your class goes well. I'm sure it will. Yeah, it will You're be. a pro. You can it do it with your eyes shut. <laughs> I, mean, I haven't not tried. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't try tomorrow. I won't. I won't. <laughs> so, and if people are interested in all your goodies, like these amazing project bags, where can they find you? Um, so you can find me online um, on Instagram. It's just my name, Alex Bird, but spelled a little bit differently um, with a KS. And I'm also online. So everything is on my website as well, which is alex-bird.com. Amazing. Super easy. We'll just pop the link below for yeah. folks as well to make it easy. Beautiful. Thank you, Alex. Thanks, Anya. <laughs> Well, cool, blimey. What a lot we've got in store for people, huh, Hals? Yeah, so that was uh, a few more bits from our in-person open weekend from a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And now we're all ready to start the virtual one. Yes, so. exactly. So if you want to come and join us for the launch party over on Zoom very shortly, please do. Come along. We'd love to see you. It's going to be an action-packed weekend. And um, just have a little look at the link all the events and things are free and there's lots of like fun stuff with colour. So come and join in, come see what we've got in store for you. And um, if you do fancy some of these specials, they all go up at um, lunchtime. So it's exciting. If Helena and I haven't taken them home first. <laughs> There'll be some left. There will be some left, at least a little bit, only because you can't fit it all in the car though. See you soon.